Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to another episode of Foolcraft. That's right, folks, we are back on our Patreon server doing all the cool, fool, modded things. Uh, last episode, we uh, we worked with a compact machine, and let me tell you, that is uh, that is working splendidly. Um, and we've gotten a lot of good feedback from the from the compact machine episode. Like, oh my gosh, that's a great idea. Put your put your stuff, your Thumbcraft stuff, in a compact machine. Then you don't have to worry about one of them stinking monsters again. And I like it. It's a great idea. We're gonna get back into that again a little bit today because I got a I got a little project in there that's going on for somebody on the server. They've asked me for some stuff. And I want to show you guys what I'm working on. Uh, but I've also been doing some beautification around spawn, right? So one of the things that the server guys were asking me about, that the patrons were asking me about, was what can we put out? What can we do to, to kind of light up the pathways? And I got to do some stuff to my pathways, too, because my pathways are kind of kind of crap, kind of junk. Um, but um, what can we do to the pathways to kind of to kind of light them up? And so I was thinking, you know what? I really do like the wooden posts from Immersive Engineering. And I also like the arcane lamps from uh, from uh, Thomcraft, right? So that's kind of what I've been working on. I've been placing these around. I haven't. I don't have any right in here, but kind of this path that comes off of spawn this way and heads out towards like everybody's bases. I went and put a bunch of these in. What do you guys think? You guys think those look okay? I think they look really. I think they fit really well. Um, with the spruce and all that, I think they do, I think they do fit the kind of the theme that we've got going on for uh, for the spawn area, and uh, and it it just does it it gives it a lot of character, right? And I think it looks really really cool. Now today's episode, uh, we're not going to be working with these. I want to get you guys' feedback on these. I, I mean, I've, I've placed quite a few, but I want to get your feedback on these. Tell me how what you think about them. But today we're going to do a couple of odds and ends like kind of things. Um, yeah, we're going to do some odds and ends, and there's a couple of things that I want to show you. First thing I want to show you is this over here. I don't think I've shown this to you before, but uh, this is something that uh, uh, that Zendian's been working on, and I got to tell you, this this place is pretty amazing. Um, looks really nice, and I hope I got the name right <laughs> because I get Zendian and Silver, or not Zendian and Silver, but Zendian and Sonic mixed up all the time. I came over here and I put some trees in so that we could have some some tree cover, but the trees actually dwarf are dwarfed by the mammoth the mammoth size of this thing. This is our astral sorcery temple, right? There are no rituals or anything going on right here at this point in time, but uh, but it's kind of a fully functioning, fully established uh, astral sorcery temple, right? Which is very very cool. So uh, so if if anybody on the server wants to get into astral sorcery, they can come over here and they can kind of get some uh, get some some stuff star power and all that good stuff that they need. They can set up some different rituals or whatever. Um, we've got everything that you could possibly need over here in this thing. And and I want to thank, uh, I want to thank uh, Zendian for building this because it is a very cool setup. And I think I just screwed my, oh no, I didn't make it. Um, but this is very cool, right? I want to do a couple of little base tours today. Well, I know I want to do at least one more base tour today because there's some stuff over there that, uh, We've got a low tech member of the server, right? That low tech member of the server, uh, this go around is actually um, Silver. So Silver's building a little town. So let's go over there and check his place out, right? Hey, that was kind of loud. Uh, so this is Silver's hometown, right? Uh, there is where is the where's the, here's the front? Is this the front door? No, this is not the front door. The front door is over here. That's where it is. I think Captain Varen's having a little bit of trouble this morning because he keeps joining and leaving and joining and leaving and joining and leaving. I think he's having a little bit of trouble. So this is the front right out here. Uh, he's picked himself a pretty good spot. Um, it looks pretty nice, and but it's very low tech. He's got some teepees out here so that you can from Totemic so you can sleep. They're kind of like beds, right? You can click in there and you can go to sleep. Um, he's got himself a couple of banners out here which are looking pretty cool. Uh, he's got some. Um, that's that's interesting. He's got some got some Thomcraft stuff in there. That's pretty neat. Go in there and check it out. See what he's got because you know Thomcraft is kind of my thing, right? Got in here. Research tables with oh oh he's run out of ink. Darn it. Uh, he's got some crystals and stuff in here. That's cool. That's nice. Looking good. Looking good over here. We got some floral power for Badania. So he's got the the crystal not the crystals but the petals and such, which is 
I noticed over here he's got some uh, Batania, uh, the agglomeration plate, and some mana pools, you know, generating mana and all that, which is awesome. He's also got this really cool armor. So cool. Batania has got some really cool stuff in it. I might get into some Batania a little bit in this series. I haven't decided yet. I know I want to concentrate on Thomcraft, and yes, I know, I know, I know everyone. I know. I said I wanted to do Thomcraft, and I haven't been doing a lot of Thomcraft. I've been doing some research in the background, right? Um, but I know there's more Thomcraft to be done, so bear with me. Um, what do we got over here? Over here. So, oh, this is his kitchen. So he's got the cow in a jar. He's got the stove. I do like the cooking with blockhead stuff, because as long as you've got this big multi-block, as long as you've got all of the stuff available for any of the Pam's Harvest Craft recipes, like if you've got a refrigerator full of stuff and you've got a stove full of stuff and you've got uh, milk and water and all that, you can craft pretty much any food recipe from uh, from Pam's Harvest Craft, which is cool. I went to all that trouble of, you know, uh, uh, auto crafting and stuff like that with mine and I didn't really have to. All I had to do was build a kitchen and which we might still do because we've, you know, we're working on the house and houses need kitchens, right? What do we got over here? We got a food farm over here. Yeah. It's in the chest. Farmer drop off. Okay. Cool. Don't have any villagers or anything, does he? Mall, the, the hall of many things. Okay. Oh, look at this. This is his item storage. That's looking pretty good. I like how he's using the birch drawers instead of just the basic ones. You know, my base, we're using the spruce ones because that fits kind of the wood, or the, the area that I'm in. Um, but uh, this is cool. There's his obsidian armor. Nice. He does have a villager. He does have a villager. Are they down here? Got, got stuff down. I suspect there's villagers in here. Nope. I hear villagers. I don't know where they are, but I hear them. Got ender lilies over here. Cool. He's got an XP shower. That's cool. Very nice. Very nice indeed, Silver. I'm, I 100% approve. Here's his nether portal. Cool. Very cool. All right, so I'm gonna head back over to my base now. Um, we'll get uh, we'll get some other stuff. We'll get some other base tours in here pretty soon. But I'm gonna head back over to my base now, and uh, from there, actually, we're gonna go to spawn first. Uh, from there, I want to take you into the compact machine, and I want to show you what I've been working on because this is kind of cool. Uh, so silky, silky smooth. Um, Ask me for a favor. Ask me if I could do something for him. And so I said, sure, why not? That sounds like a great idea. I can handle that. Uh, he needs a thousand brass aluminum or a, a thousand brass ingots, right? So I said, well, yeah, I can do that. We can do that with Thomcraft. So let's go in here and take a look at what we've got going on. Ah, oh yeah, that's right. Oh shoot. Oh crap. Oh crap. I keep forgetting to change that. I keep whenever I spawn in here, I spawn in in the um, in the cauldron, <laughs> and so if I leave water in it, that uh, doesn't usually bode well for me. Uh, but I've got myself, I, I did some changes. Remember, everything was kind of off to the one side. I did center them in the room, which I may have to change that now. I may have to make it so that the cauldron is kind of off to one side so that I've got a spawnable block here. But I, I like the way that this looks, and so that's that's kind of a... Um, that's kind of a thing. The guys are asking me when I'm going to start my... When am I going to start recording my video? <laughs> Too late. Already did. Um, but anyway, so what we've been working on is this. So if you take, uh, let me see, the, the ratio is two, two flint and two ingots give you two brass, right? Alchemical brass. And then I can use these quartz slivers and put in... Uh, five of them, I think. I think it's five, and I can get uh, I can get Terra V crystals, right? And what that does is, if you notice the upper left hand corner up there, I really don't have any flux built up in this place at all. So let's take a look at this. Uh, where's my bucket? My bucket. Uh, bucket, 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 bucket. Oh, really? Where's my bucket? Oh, there they are. They're right here. I didn't have to go in there at all. That's fine. So you go there. You go there. Little leg spike. Uh, the lag seems to be doing better on the server, too. Check this out. TPS. Uh, we're at solid 20. I like it. I like it a lot. Good. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead. No, don't put you in there. Put that in there. You. So let's get, uh, let's get 10 of you. Eight. 
and then we'll get 10 of you. Only nine. 10. I said 10. 10. There we go. And then we'll get, uh, we'll get the rest of these, right? So the way that this works is I just go click, click, right? And so that gives us 10 uh, instrumentum and 10 para. Go like that. Boom. That gives us one brass. Boom. Two brass. And then one, two, three, four, five. No, nothing left in the cauldron. No V building up, or no, uh, not V, but no flux building up in the environment. And we have alchemical brass. Boom. And we can go, we have five more of these. So, so we're getting good stuff out of this. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these Terra crystals, right? But uh, it is what it is. If you guys know of a better, uh, a better element to get instrumentum from, that would be wonderful if you could let me know that down in the comments. I'd appreciate it very, very much. But, um, but uh, we got, as you can see, he needs a thousand of these. We got a ways to go, right? We got to fill, we got to fill all of these up with 64. And if we get 64 through to here, and then this is 41, we'll have a thousand and one uh, alchemical brass ingots, right? So I got my work cut out for me here. I'm going to be doing this a lot off camera, but uh, so now that you've seen it, you know, silky smooth, it's coming. Uh, now, what are we going to work on the rest of the day, though? First and foremost, let's get out of here. Oh, I just brought a bunch of stuff out that I didn't want to bring out. I'm going to have to go back in there and put that away. Um, we need to do that real quick because I don't want to mix. Oh, for crying out loud. Ugh. I don't want to mix up his stuff with my stuff, right? I want to make sure that um, oh, that's not what I want. Actually, I do want that in there. There we go. So 57, 57, cool. All right. Uh, but anyway, uh, what are we going to work on today? Today we're going to work on setting up an economy. Yeah, we're going to get we're going to get into the currency mod, right? The the guys have been talking, and we want to make sure that uh, that everybody has an opportunity to make money on the server. So what we've decided is uh, the currency mod, R R E N Y, uh, currency for blockheads, no. At. Yeah, it's this thing. So we got currency for blah, good old currency mod. That's it. So we need to make this book, right? And so that's a book and a gold ingot. You also notice that I have a couple of these in my in my inventory. I made a couple of mailboxes because if we're going to have a currency, we're going to have to have a way to give people currency, right? And so that's going to be the mailboxes from uh, Mr. Crayfish. Um, I'm going to do more of those here in just a second on camera. But first and foremost, let's get this book so we know what we're doing uh, with uh, all the things. Do I have any? Do I have any paper? Do I have any paper? Paper, paper, paper. I do have paper. A hey, paper. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a book. We'll get a gold ingot, gold ingot book. Said we need a book. That. Need this and this. Boom. Currency for blockheads. Aha, or not currency for good old currency. So we've got money, we've got wallets, we've got vending machines and ATMs and all that good stuff. Uh, starting off to get currency, these colored pieces of paper are the most important part of our economy. Each one has a higher value of the last. Uh, this way you won't have a million one dollar bills filling up your inventory. You can also convert between uh, each bill in any crafting table. That's a good to know. That's good to know. You also have coins. So the coins can be pennies and nickels and dimes and quarters and all that good stuff, which is cool. So that's awesome. Oops. Um, so how do you make the currency? That's going to be the next thing. We need to make the currency. Whoops. At currency. So everybody's going to get $100 to start. And then, depending on your playing time, uh, you're going to get a certain number of dollars for each of the the player medals, the, the loyalty medals that you can get. And then also we're going to have other projects that can be done on the server, like the, the street lights that I've been working on. You know, we may decide that if wh whoever's going to put up street lights or street signs or build roads or whatever is going to get paid uh, to do that endeavor. Um, so we need to make we need to make money. So I guess to start with, how, what does it take to make a dollar bill? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. So how do you make the money? How do you craft the money? Gonna have to figure that out. What's this thing? That's an upgrade system. Don't really need that just yet. I don't think. Uh, wallets. Unfortunately, can only hold bills. Uh, okay, that's fine. We, oops, I don't care about that. Uh, vending machines. AT exchange machine. Too lazy to go mining. Have tons of money. 
Okay, so you can set it up so you can get stuff. This is an ATM, having so much money and running out of chest. Uh, ATMs only accept bills, so you have to keep your coins with you. Okay. Uh, so we need to figure out how, what, do we, what do we have to do to build this stuff, right? How do you make the money? How do you craft the money? Uh, $2, oh, no. Dollar coins, 25 cent coins, 10 cent coin. Uh-huh. So interesting. I, I think I understand why it's not craftable, because if it's craftable, then anybody can craft the money. So I think I'm going to have to cheat this in. If you guys know for sure, let me know. Um, but uh, what I do want to do first and foremost is I want to talk about these uh, these mailboxes. So um, we need to make there. We have 10 active members on the server right now. Right. So everybody needs a mailbox. I have two. I need to make eight more, which means I'm going to need eight more books. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. We're going to need more paper. Uh, so let's go outside and get some sugar cane so we can make some more paper. Leave bed. Night time over. So let's go get some sugar cane. I haven't seen any mobs around lately. I wonder why that is. Not that I'm complaining, because mobs, right? Let's get some of you. Awesome. Here, why are you no working? Have a... Why is it not working? Why is it not working? It should be harvesting... Hmm, that's weird. Anyway. 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 Hmm. Uh, I've expanded the beacon. I added one more layer of iron down there. So we have a, a almost full tier, uh, almost full tier beacon. We got one more layer to go. Hard to believe I got that beacon out of a loot bag. I didn't even have to make the beacon. That's pretty awesome. Uh, so anyway, let's get some paper. Paper, 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 paper. Do this and do this. That'll give us five books. And we just need uh, three more pieces. Ten more pieces. Three, six, nine. Oh, so that'll give us the rest. Wait a minute. That'll give us the rest of the books that we need. Cool. And then we just need some wood. So let's. And it has to be oak wood, apparently. Apparently, that's a thing. Do I have any oak wood over here? I don't think I do. I have eight pieces of oak wood. I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna go over here and get some oak wood from over here. That might be enough. It takes six pieces of oak wood per uh, mailbox, right? That is not going to be enough. I'm gonna give us six of them, so that's eight. So we need two more. Um, that's four, that's eight. Should be enough. Yeah, that should totally be enough. Put you out of there. Put you in there. This. This. Outstanding. So there is... There is enough of that. We need to cook this pork. This pork needs to get cooked. I'm running low on food. Uh, but anyway, now we've got... Uh, we've got... 10 mailboxes. So what I want to think about now is I want to head over to spawn and we need to take a look at this and do this kind of in a way that makes kind of sense, right? So we've got the spawn building over here. The spawn building is where all new players come uh, and log in and get their you know initial bearings on the server and they find out the rules and all of that. And I, these wind chimes are awesome. When they're, when they're making noise, they're pretty cool. Um, so somebody actually already put in vending machines and exchange machines here, and I don't know how they work, right? I don't know how they work. I don't know how they work. Um, so this is where everybody kind of spawns in. Uh, of course, you get, your, you get your first waystone set point that you can make. You can sleep if it's nighttime. Everybody gets a waystone, so... Um, so this is kind of the kind of the central hub, but I don't have a lot of space in here to put these uh, put these mailboxes. So what I was thinking, what I was uh, stinking, was that maybe off to the side over here, like maybe in one of these little spaces over here, like maybe oh I don't know maybe this space because this is nice and flat. 
Uh, or actually, who? hey, maybe even here. Maybe even here. This is like the first intersection of the server. So maybe like right in this space here. This is where we put our post office. So what I'd like to see, what I'd like to see down in the comments is I'd like to see, do we want to put a post office here or do we want to use the spawn building as the existing building and use it as our post office? Um, I'm kind of leaning towards adding a post office. I don't know how, how the rest of the guys feel about that. So I'm going to kind of go and talk to them real quick. You guys leave your comments down below, but I'm going to go and talk to them for a minute on the Discord and see what they say, and, uh, and we'll go from there. So I will see you in a minute. Okay, so we just got done talking with some of the guys, Captain Varen and Silky, um, and we have come up with an idea. We've come up with a place. We're gonna put the we're gonna put it right here. As a matter of fact, there they are. They're gonna go ahead and get started building this thing, right? And uh, we'll see what they come up with. But right now, what we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna go over here to our base. And there's something that I want to see if I can do real quick. I've been I've been meaning to do this for a while, and and that is I want to see about upgrading my jetpack, right? So. At. Um, so we're currently we have the leadstone one we need the hardened one and to make the hardened one we're going to need some invar ingots uh we're going to need the regular leadstone jetpack we're going to need all of this stuff i don't know if i'm going to be able to do that right away or not uh how does it how how do you make how do you make the invar invar is what silver and um what, silver and something Put an alloy smelter, so that's invar blend. Oh, it's silver. Oh, it's iron and nickel. Okay, so iron and nickel, and we should have plenty of iron and plenty of nickel, I think. Let's go ahead and get some of that going. Let's see if, let's see if we can get a stack of it going real quick, uh, and build up some of these things. And maybe I have to do some stuff off camera because I know we're getting kind of long in the tooth here on the episode, right? Um, so it's let's see, you get three. Oh, 10, 20, 20 would be 60, right? So get 20 of you. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've got, we got stuff. we got lots of stuff in our inventory. Um, yeah. Okay, so 20 of you. That's 22. Okay. But one. Oh, oh. I need 20 of you. There's 20, uh, and then we need 20, and then we need, uh, what, 2 to 1, so 10 nickel, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that should be 10. That should be 10 nickel, right? I don't need this pulverized coal. Yeah, 10 nickel. So that should give us 60, right? That should give us 60 of the, uh, of the things, so you and you. I think that's going to be right. 3 in bar times 20, that'd be 60, yeah. Uh, so now, to make this, to make the rest of this, we gotta have you and you. So that's in bar plus a flux capacitor. Flux capacitor is redstone, copper, sulfur. Do I have any sulfur? I should have sulfur down here. Yeah. But I should have some sulfur down here, I think, from stuff. Sulfur, sulfur, sulfur. Have any sulfur? I don't see any sulfur. I don't see any sulfur. Why do I not see any sulfur? You get sulfur from zombie pigmen. You get sulfur from ghasts. You get sulfur from. I thought you got sulfur as a drop from witches, or not witches, but. Uh... I thought you got sulfur from uh, creepers. Sulfur? Oh, I do have some sulfur. Cool. How much sulfur do I need? I need one for you. Huh? Okay. I need one for you. Do I need any for you guys? No. You need some reception coils and some steam dynamos and hardened flux duct. Oh, I can use I can use regular flux, can I? No, I can't. They have to be hardened flux ducts? Are you freaking kidding me? Ah, uh, which is more in bar. Ugh. All right, let me see if I can gather up some of this stuff, and we'll see if we can power through the crafting when I come back. Woo, that, I got to tell you, that was something. Those guys have been going crazy over there. 
trying to get this thing built, which is awesome. I am very appreciative of that. And I've been over here steadily trying to get this stuff crafted up, but I think, I think I've got everything. So first things first, right here, we need to make another flux capacitor. That flux capacitor gets plugged in over here to make a hardened flux capacitor. And then we come over here and we need a couple of these, a couple of steam dynamos, cool. Over here, we need a couple of hardened flux duct. We need four of them, as a matter of fact, one, two, three. Four. and then all of that gets plugged in over here. The flux ducts go like this. The capacitor goes. Oh, did I need to make two of those? I might have needed to make crud. Did I need to make two of those? I need two steam dynamos. I've got those. Redstone. Aha! I need redstone. One, two of those. Cool. The flux duct or the flux capacitor goes over here. Cool. I'm good. Sweet, so there's two of those, and then we bring those over here, and the capacitor goes there, and the hardened jetpack thingies, hardened thrusters go there, and look at what we've got here. We've got a tier two. Oh, I can't wear it. Oh, there we go. So I've got a tier two jetpack, and the tier two jetpack does cool things. Let's go over here and check and see what these guys are up to. Uh, hover mode enabled. I mean, that's better. We still fall, but we don't fall as quickly now. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, hey, that's starting to look like something. That is starting to look like something. I like it. I like it. <laughs> it says RB on the front. That's pretty cool. Uh, <clears throat> so Captain Varen came up with a cool idea of using these screens, and you can put logos on it. So he's got his logo over here. I've got my logo there, which is awesome. And uh, looks like we have mail from Captain Varen. What did he give us? He gave us an enchanted book with night vision. Hey, how about that? You get to keep the envelope. You get to keep the envelope, but it looks like it's still signed. Can you, can you make the name go away from it? I don't think you can. Um, there's Silky. He's the one doing the building. Um, so we've got 10 active members, and there are 10 mailboxes. you got to be careful. If you click on the mailbox, you own the mailbox, okay? So don't come in here and click on all the mailbox, <coughs> mailboxes that aren't claimed yet. Because if you do, then they are your mailbox, and then you have to break it, and then you have to place it so that someone else can click on it. Uh, but the, the post office, guys, the post office is open. Um... Obviously, there's still a little bit more work to do to the building, but the post office is open, and it's going to be a cool thing to have on the server. So what we need to figure out now, and this is going to be the last thing we're going to talk about today because of, uh, because of time, but we made this book, you know, the currency for, or the good old currency mod. Um, we need to figure out how to get cash, and I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to get the cash crafted or, or anything like that, or if we're even going to, you know, what we're going to do. I don't know. Um, so if you guys can give me some feedback on that, that would be amazing. But folks, I think that's going to do it for today because we are out of time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments. So make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all of that good stuff and we will chat about it in kind. Also, don't forget to stop by our Discord server where you can chat with all of us that are here on the server as well as others who are not um, and uh, and just kind of talk about Minecraft and life in general and what plans you might have and what, you know, what's subjects you're studying in school. Are you ready to go back to school? Because I guess school starts here pretty soon, doesn't it? Ugh have my sympathy. Um, but anyway, folks, thanks again for watching. Also, thanks to all of my supporters, my YouTube sponsors, my Patreon supporters. You guys rock. You guys are what makes this channel uh, actually keep going. Uh, and if it weren't for you, this channel, would, uh, this channel wouldn't be half of what it is today. So thank you so much. You guys have all of my love and support, and I do appreciate your support very, very much indeed. But once again, folks, it is time to go. I got lots to do today. And uh, so until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.